Hi guys, James from Measure Square here. Welcome to part 4 of our Product and Services Database tutorial in the Getting Started series. In this video, we will cover Linear Item Setup. To start, let's make a wall base. We'll left click on our wall base folder and click on the Add New Product button. We'll go ahead and label our new wall base here. We can then choose our product type. In this case, we can choose wall base. If we're working with other types of linear item, we can also choose transition for, say, placing in a door or between two product regions, or bullnose, for example, if we need a linear product for a staircase. We'll click OK. Now we're presented with the item info section. Just like other types of products, we can enter in a display color, make sure our unit of measure is set up correctly, in this case linear feet, enter in vendor and manufacturer information, and now we can set up our height for our wall base. In the width field, we can type in, for example, 6 inches if this is a 6 inch high wall base. We can also add a waste add-on percentage if we'd like. This will add a certain percentage over our net linear feet. In this case, we'll choose 5%. Once our waste add-on has been added, we can enter in our linear foot sales price and our linear foot cost price. We can then click Save. Now that we've made a wall base, we can talk about the difference between different linear types. For example, if we go to the New Product button, we can focus here on the Type menu and see that we also have a type called Linear. This type is meant for labor charges or other hidden linear type items, in that we don't want them to show like a transition or a wall base, but we need to make sure that we are estimating their quantities by the linear foot. This is helpful, for example, for a linear labor calculation for a flash cove on a sheet vinyl. Now that we've made a regular wall base type item, let's make a different type of linear item. We'll make some heat weld rod to go with the sheet vinyl. To begin, we'll choose the type as linear. We'll go ahead and enter in the name as heat weld. Then we'll click OK. Just like before, we can choose our display color, make sure we're being calculated here by the linear foot. The width isn't going to really apply here to us since this is going to be an add-on product. And now would be a good time to mention we have an add-on product methodology here. So if we ignore our pricing here and just focus on the essentials here for our heat weld, we can go here to our is add-on checkbox and make sure this is selected. This will allow us to take our heat weld rod and associate it to an area product like a sheet vinyl later. In this way, we can automatically estimate for our heat weld based off of the seam length of our area product. Let's go ahead and click Save. And now we've saved our heat weld rod here in our linear folder. And now we can go up and select a sheet vinyl from our vinyl folder. We'll go ahead and open up our sheet goods folder and we'll select this vinyl here to apply our weld rod to. So we'll left click on the product to expand it into the item info details and then we're going to go ahead and click the green plus on the bottom right so that we can associate our weld rod with this product. You'll notice when we click the green plus a new pop-up appears called the set add-on window. In this pop-up we'll select our product, in this case our heat weld, and then we can choose our add-on method. In this case we'll choose seam length. But if we were working with, say, a flash cove labor charge, we could choose base perimeter. So again, for our heat weld, we'll make sure we have the add-on method of seam length selected. Then we'll click Save. You'll see now we have our heat weld nested inside of the vinyl here. Let's go ahead and click Save on the vinyl information. And you'll see now we have a plus located to the left of our vinyl product. If we expand that out, we can see that our heat weld rod has been associated with that area product. In our next video, we will cover 
the each type item product setup. 